Welcome back. As we get prepared for Groundhog's Day, uh, what can mm. we expect, Noel? It's going to feel like Groundhog Day every day with this warm trend there, Ben, but it is mostly cloudy throughout much of upper Michigan. Some sunny breaks towards the southern UP tonight, and temperatures are holding around the 30s and then upper 20s the closer you are to Lake Superior as we see this live view west, central, and east. Almanac data from National Weather Service Marquette, a high temperature of 37, but tricky there. That wasn't during the afternoon. That was during the early morning hours of your Thursday. Thursday as a cold north wind brought temperatures down to the 20s and around the lower 30s around the Lake Superior shore. So what a day it was if you were near the big lake. It was much warmer towards Menominee. Highs around 40 degrees tonight. What's on tap? A few flurries, some stubborn clouds and some patchy drizzle and fog to start your Friday morning. And blustery too, but it's going to be a sunnier turn towards the weekend. We're expecting a lot of sunshine tomorrow afternoon. It'll be milder on the side of our temperature scale. It'll be warmer as we head towards the weekend and still maintaining some sunshine. So why complain about this early spring feel? Let's make the most of it and let's enjoy it, especially over the Heiki Lunta Festival in Nagani. National outlook at this hour, we've got a system bringing in a mess of rain and snow across the western continental United States and western Canada too. You got the snow up in the coastal ranges of Sierra Nevadas and what's happening over in the central United States there. It's drier, it's warmer. There is that ridge and the jet streams well north of that around areas of the northwestern territories of Canada. Well, that drier, warmer air is moving over to upper Michigan and the Great Lakes region this weekend. Still got some clouds in the way, but the high pressure north of us around the western areas of Ontario will lead to some gradual clearing. It is bringing in a cold north wind, but eventually it's going to warm up gradually too for tomorrow and the weekend. So mostly cloudy tonight, some north winds that could gust over 20 miles per hour along the lake shores and cannot rule some flurries, especially near the Lake Superior Shore, the northern half of upper Michigan. And then that gradual clearing comes as we get to the lunch hour tomorrow, some southeast winds to trigger in some of that warmer, drier air. And that continues on into the weekend. So just watch out. This is for the next three days. We'll just go for the next seven days overall. Watch it out for that continued snow melt that could lead to some wet conditions during the daytime and then some icy spots towards the evening. Tonight's lows all across the shorelines around the 20 degree mark. Some areas along the interior, especially if the clouds start to break up, could dip down to the single numbers, patchy fog and drizzle and then some sunshine for your Friday. Some light southeasterly breezes, a few highs could get to that 40 degree Mark whether you're along the shores or along the interior of Upper Michigan. Your TV6 extended forecast, Groundhog Day tomorrow. I'm excited about Punxsutawney Phil's prediction there, Ben, but we're still in for our warm stretch. We'll look for a change, though, next Thursday. I feel that might open the door to colder, snowier weather here in Upper Michigan. Yes, I got your white out here, Noel. I think I'm going to get rid of the fours <laughs> and threes, and then we'll have Thanks, a nice cool time. Thanks, uh, Ben. One question, real quick. Did you, uh, do you still dial up the heater? Um, no, I had to open the window there. Thank you very much, Noel. And remember, on the free TV6 